<laughs> it wouldn't grow oh. into a tree. Oh. Woofoo. You want to know why? Let knowledge click. A watermelon seed needs soil, water, and sunlight in order to sprout and grow into a plant. On the other hand, the stomach lacks the conditions needed for a seed to sprout. If the watermelon seed doesn't mm. grow, what will happen to it? <laughs> the substances in your stomach will help push it out within about three days, along with other food. as I want, right? Hmm. One or two seeds won't hurt, but swallowing too many could make you choke or even have stomach ache. When you eat watermelon, make sure to spit out the seeds to stay safe, okay? Yes. Huh? That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Slow down, Lucy. Don't stub your mouth. Oh. You're joking. What's happening to me? Your tummy is mad because you didn't chew your food properly. Oh. I'll tell you. Let knowledge clear. Inside your tummy is a special team called the digestive system. When you chew your food well, your skin helps make it soft so it can slide down your throat. Then it goes through a long tube and into your stomach. Your stomach squeezes and adds special juices to break the food down. Next, it moves to the small intestine, where the food turns into nutrients. The nutrients travel all around your body to help you grow strong. And if you don't chew well, trouble's coming. If a bite of food is too big and go down without enough chewing, it can get stuck in your throat. Not only that, the big piece is hard to digest. Your stomach gets tired and doesn't make enough juice. So you feel full, sore, or hear funny tummy sounds. As a result, your intestines can get all the nutrients. That means even if you eat a lot, your body still doesn't get strong. Wow! Oh. My tummy! Oh. I'll chew better and stop rushing my food from now on. That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Oh, that's way too hmm. salty.
Why are you drinking so much water? <laughs> he ate a ton of salty fries too. Ah, oh, I see. You're mm. thirsty because of all that salt. I'll show you why. Let knowledge click. So, helps your body keep water, move muscles, and send signals. But we only need about one teaspoon, about five grams of salt a day. Too much salt makes your blood too salty. So, the blood needs water to water down all that salt. That's why you feel so thirsty. Your body needs more and more water. Extra water goes to your kidneys to clean it up. But if there's too much salt, your kidneys have to work super hard. The water fills your bladder and you need to pee a lot. But that's not all. Too much salt can also hurt your heart. It makes blood parts tighter, so your heart has to work harder. Later, it can even make you forget things or have heart problems. Hmm. To stay healthy, eat fruits, veggies, drink plenty of water, and just eat a little bit of snacks like fries. Yeah. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Lucy just had some coffee. Did you know what happens if kids drink too much coffee? Let knowledge click! Coffee contains a substance called caffeine. It can make us feel more awake and alert. When caffeine enters the body, it blocks the sleepiness chemical in the brain. Making the brain more active, like flipping on a bright light switch in your head. Wow! So that's why my dad often drinks coffee in the morning when he works. But drinking too much coffee isn't good for your body, especially for kids. Coffee gives your brain a boost that isn't natural. At first, it makes you feel really full of energy. But caffeine keeps the brain tense, which can make you feel tired and harder to concentrate. It can also make your heart beat faster, leaving you feeling uneasy and restless. Caffeine can also cause stomach aches, shaky hands and legs, or even make you very dehydrated. Besides coffee, kids under 12 should avoid drink with caffeine like energy drinks and tea too. What are we gonna do with her now, Professor? <laughs> First, give her plenty of water to flush out caffeine faster and reduces its effects on the brain and heart. We can also give her a light snack, especially foods rich in fiber or protein, to help <laughs> slow down the absorption of caffeine in the body. Oh. Oh. 
that's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't oh. drink that much mm -hmm. water all mm. at once, would you? Do you know why we shouldn't do that? Let knowledge click! Water is a very important part of our bodies. Water makes up about 60 to 65% of a child's body. Water helps cool down our body and lower the temperature oh, when we mm. get too hot. Oh. Water also delivers nutrients to our organs and helps the body work properly. Water helps our joints more easily, like oil helps the machine run smoothly. When we drink water, it goes into the stomach and then go down to the small intestine. From there, water gets absorbed into the blood vessels and then goes straight to the kidneys. The kidneys work like the body's filter, removing extra waste. When there's too much water, they have to work much harder to keep up. That's going to make you need to pee a lot. No! Oh no! If your kidneys get overwhelmed, your body will try to get rid of the extra water in other ways, which can make you feel nauseous. We shouldn't drink too much water at once. It's better to sip it throughout the day. Each person should drink about 5 to 8 glasses of water a day, which is around 1.5 to 2 liters. Oh, I got it! Oh no! <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration.